Well, sir, the noonday meal is almost over as we join our friends at the small house halfway up in the next block now. And here in the kitchen, we find Mr. Victor Gook and young Mr. Rush Gook briskly attacking dessert. Mrs. Victor Gook, however, quitted the table a moment ago in response to the telephone's alarm. And we hear her say, Rosie, it completely slipped my mind. Completely slipped my mind. Yes. Sure. Well, I'm glad you remembered, lady. Uh, Vic and Rush are still here, and I can get the information from them before they have to go back to school in the office. Like I told you last week, Vic was brought up on a farm and can provide the information in two seconds. All right, Ruthie. Sure. Suppose I come past for you about quarter to two or kind of halfway and around through there? Yeah. All right, lady. You bet. Goodbye. I demand to know the Willie, trot in the conversation. living room and get a sheet of paper and pencil out of the library table drawer. Uh, finished your dessert? Got a couple of bites left. Well, run along. You can eat them when you get back. Mm. I'm the most forgetful ninny in town. Promised five separate ladies I'd dig up some information for them they need at thimble meetings this afternoon and let it completely slip my mind. What kind of information? Wildflowers. You'll have to help me. You want your good stationery, Mom? No, any old piece of scratch paper will do. And a pencil. Okay. You know all about wildflowers, don't you? Uh-uh. Oh, you do so. Raised on a farm. I was raised on a farm, but my horticultural education... Well, you certainly give me half a dozen names of wildflowers, can't you? I might possibly perform that. Sure. Feature. Here's the way it is. At the last symbol meeting, the chairman, Ms. Apparat, told us we'd have to answer to roll call this week by giving the name of a wildflower and some interesting fact about it. Mighty sweet idea. Remind and me I have time... to accumulate this information for five separate ladies. Well, it was six, counting myself. I ripped a page out of my algebra notebook. All right, thanks. Give it here. Uh, what's the name of a wildflower? Dandelion. Oh, lands, everybody knows dandelion. Bluebell. Oh, well, can't you think of some good ones? Well, bluebell is good. As pretty a posy as you'd want to see. I mean something unusual. I had the notion you brought up in the country that way. It'd have a hundred wildflowers on the tip of your tongue. I worked when I was a boy. I didn't trip over the meadows gathering blossoms. I got up at five o'clock in the morning and milked cows and watered horses. Yeah, I know, them. but same time, seems to me you'd recall a thousand wildflowers. Well, maybe I do. Let me ponder a second. I put down bluebell. What's an interesting fact about bluebells? Their color. What about their color? It's blue. Oh, my. <laughs> well, heck, let a guy think a minute. I can probably <laughs> recollect a trash basket full of dope if you'll give me time. Some farm boy. What's the trouble, ma? Well, I need the names of wildflowers for a thimble club meeting this afternoon. Why? Oh, new stunt of Miss Apparat's. At roll call, instead of answering off Miss Gook and Miss Stembottom, the ladies are supposed to give a wildflower and some interesting fact about it. You know any wildflowers? I expect I could think of a few. Do you have to provide them for all the ladies? Have to provide them for five. Well, thought of something? Chrysanthemum. Oh, chrysanthemum. Since when was chrysanthemums wild? I don't know. I don't sure mean... must have been some wide-awake farm boy. Well, why do you have to dig up information for everybody? Oh, I guess I stuck my neck out. I had the idea my husband that had been brought up in the country could name off names of wildflowers fast as he could talk. No, but why do you Well, when to... Thimble let out last week, I walked partway home with Ruthie and Miss Carmelson and Miss Well. They said they didn't know any more about wildflowers than a person could shake a stick at. I told them I'd help them out. And pretty quick, Miss Kreider and Miss Oliver caught up with us, and they were up a stump about wildflowers. I said I'd get their information for them. Huh? And then I proceeded to promptly forget the whole business. Mm. Puts me in a pickle if you can't help. I've had all week to go down to the public library, and here's the afternoon of thimble meeting, and I haven't got a thing. You've got Bluebell. Oh, Bluebell. Well, I thought you'd know a bunch of dandies. Oh, maybe I do. Let me think. Sweet Williams, Ma. Hmm? Sweet Williams are wildflowers, ain't they? Sweet Williams? Sure. I remember seeing What's Sweet Williams. What's an interesting and... fact about them? I don't know. Tulips, kiddo. Are tulips wildflowers? Flowers, I know they are. You must have been a regular leatherhead when you were on the farm. I was a bright, alert, sunflowers, Ma. Uh-uh. Well, they're wild. Well, they're wild, but they're common. Anybody can think of sunflowers and dandelions and daisies. I told the ladies I'd provide them with fancy names. 
fancy names and unusual facts. And your father gives me chrysanthemums and tulips. Irises. Irises. Is this the way it goes, ma'am? Miss Apright calls off Miss Gook, and you're supposed to holler out Sweet Williams? Supposed to holler out Sweet Williams and go ahead and speak some little piece about Sweet Williams. Uh, Sweet Williams grow some place or other, and they're widely known for this, that, and the other thing. Hmm. Rotten splotches. What? Wildflowers. Rotten splotches. They grow on the banks of creeks. We had a whole patch of rotten splotches on our farm. They're kind of a nasty yellow with dirty streaks on them. Ish. Rotten splotches is a good legitimate wildflower. I can Do you think I'd give that to any of the ladies to say? Rotten splotches, a nasty yellow flower with dirty streaks on it. Oh, well, heck, I'm doing the best I can. Telephone ringing. It's probably Ruthie again. Might be Leland Richards. He said he had something of a trivial nature to discuss. I'll answer. Yeah. Hello? Oh, yes, Miss Carmelson. Why, yes, I am, Miss Carmelson. I uh, promised Miss Stembottom I'd stop by for her. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, the wildflowers? Uh, why, um, yes, uh, yours is Sweet William. Yes, yeah, Sweet William. Uh, what's an interesting fact, Vic? I'm afraid I Rush. didn't have this slightest... Sweet Williams were discovered by Balboa when he exported the Pacific Coast. Who? Balboa. Uh, excuse me, Miss Carmelson. Had to ask my son a question. Yeah. Uh, Sweet Williams were discovered by Balboa when he, uh, explored the Pacific Coast. Balboa. <laughs> Can you remember that? Uh-huh. All right. Oh, not at all. Well, uh, see you at Thimble Club later on. Yes, indeed. All right, Miss Carmelson. Bye. Well, you got one of your ladies fixed up. Hush, was that true about Sweet Williams? True? Yes. Could be true. You don't know it's true, though, huh? No, I don't know it's true. But it's got to be partly true. Balboa must have seen plenty of Sweet Williams. I'll get it. Uh, uh, carnations. Carnations are wildflowers? Seems to me I heard somewhere that carnations are... What... Hello. Oh, yes, Miss Oliver. Uh, uh, sure I have. <laughs> you bet. What's another? Killy Connects. Killy Connects? Yeah. Uh, Killy Connects, Miss Oliver. Yeah. That's your wildflower. Interesting fact. Killy Connects were used by the Comanche Indians to tell the time of day. Uh, they were used by the Comanche Indians to tell the time of day. Yeah. Oh, not at all, Miss Oliver. Not at all. Uh, see you this afternoon? All right. All right, Miss Oliver. Goodbye. Another lady accommodated. What are Kelly Connects? <laughs> Marble. They're generally used for shooters, and they're made out of some kind of funny stone. Kids call them Kelly Connects. Where'd you get that about the Comanche Indians? We're reading about Comanche Indians in English class. Both Miss Carmelson and Miss Oliver will call out stuff at Thimble Meeting that ain't true. Nobody will check up on them, though. If you take the average American citizen, he wouldn't bother to go yeah, to the trouble. Four more wildflowers and interesting facts. Heliotrope. You needn't exert yourself giving any more suggestions, Vic. Uh, Rush, I'm going to use sunflower after all. What's an interesting fact? Sunflowers were once used as food. Is that true? No. Once used as food. Sweet peas. What's an interesting fact about daisies? Daisies keep secrets. There's an old saying, daisies won't tell. That's true. Sure. I'll give it to Ruthie. Uh, how about bluebells? They're blue. How about bluebells, Rush? Uh, bluebells were once held sacred by the Blackfoot tribe of Redskins. Kiddo, seems to me orchids are wildflowers. I the dandelions. I Want an interesting fact for dandelions? Yeah. There's an old tradition that if you hold a dandelion under somebody's chin and it makes the skin look yellow, it shows they like butter. That's true. I don't know whether it's true or not, but you take young kids. Well, uh, I mean, it's true. People say that. Yeah. Well, it makes my six. Sweet Williams, that funny name. Kelly you... Knicks. Uh, sunflowers, daisies, bluebells, and dandelions. Uh-huh. Six. Certainly made a botch of this. Making ladies call out trash that ain't even true. I wouldn't worry, ma. You'll never get caught. Kiddo. What? Poinsettias. You're some farm boy, you are. Ain't poinsettias well, flowers? Some wonderful farm boy. <laughs> Which concludes another brief interlude at the small house halfway up in the next block. <laughs>